Hi everyone and welcome to Chico's YouTube channel. My name is Valentin and in this video I will show you how to create a contract generator in Chico. With Chico you can create an automated contract generator with the tools you already know. That means Google Sheets, Google Docs, PDF and Gmail. Let me show you how the system works. Right now I'm inside the Shigo web application and here you can see the workflow view of our contract generator. I've already created this one for you. We have our spreadsheet, our Google Sheets with our independent contractors. Shigo automatically creates Google Docs and p converts them into PDF file formats of these contracts and then will automatically send them out to his respectful owner of it via Gmail. But let me show you how to build this system. What we do is we start with the spreadsheet. So let me open and show it to you. Here I have a list of my independent contractors and their information. So their full name, email address, the day they start with working for me, the project that they're working on, their office location and the contract sum. So how much I will have to pay them. The next thing we need is our Google Docs file. This is the template for our contract. You can adjust this. You can upload a Google Docs file to your liking. So let me show you. This is the independent contractor agreement that I've specified here in Google Docs. As you can see, all the information necessary in this contract is here. And what Chigo does in order to, of course, personalize this, and make this system automatic, is we use smart tags. So in between these brackets, we see the start date, the full name, the location, project name, and the sum, the, the amount that needs to be paid for this contract. Remember that these are the column names that we saw in the spreadsheet. So Shigo will automatically recognize any column name. And if you then put it in between brackets in your document, per run of the workflow, Shigo will populate the specific information of the specific person you're creating the contract for. It then generates the contracts in PDF, which I've saved here in this folder. Here we go. We have the contracts of each person in my spreadsheet. Let me show you again. Mark David, Sarah Jones, Rod Darko, they're all in this document right here. Let me open the one of Mark David. As you can see, Shigo has replaced the smart tags with the information of Mark, with the day he started, where his location is, and on which project and for what amount he's working on. So we're already at this step. We've already created the PDF. And the last but not least, as what I've showed you in the workflow view, once Shigo generates these PDFs, we will also send it automatically via Gmail. So the specific contract PDF of Mark David will be sent to Mark David only. Also recognized by the column, column B in this case, with the email address of Mark David. So this person will then receive their personal contract. Now I've showed you how the system works. Let me, let me show you how to work with it and how to set it up. The connection works as the following. We begin, we start our connection, our workflow with our source file, which is our spreadsheet, our independent contractors. We then move on to generate a document. And here is where you have to upload your document template. So you can change the file here. You can upload it from Google Drive, Dropbox, or any Microsoft storage as well. So I've uploaded my document and here you can specify how you want each contract to be named. So you can use the smart tags here as well and Shigo will automatically replace them with Mark David, its office location and whatnot. You select where you want to save these contracts. So we can save this in a contract folder in my drive. And then the next step, of course, is to generate PDFs from these Google Docs files. So you simply also select where you want to save these documents and lastly we will share them via gmail there are two options here when you share via gmail with shigo you can share the files and send access links but that will give them added access to the original documents so we choose add files as attachments right here for the recipients, you can also use custom recipients. So you can add a list of email addresses here to which to whom it should be sent. But that would be a bulk email, of course. So we want to get dynamically from a column. We selected column B email and thus she will per row in the spreadsheet recognize the new information will automatically generate the PDF and send them to that exact person in that column, the exact email address. 
Here you specify the subject of your email. I just shared file name, again, using a smart tag with you using Shego and that's it. So that's how our system works. We bring the data from our spreadsheet. Shego recognizes any new row with every new update, generates the documents and the PDFs to then share them via Gmail. That's it. You click on save changes and you have your system up and running. A very awesome feature is the Shego forms. For example, you have your list of contractors right here. You can manually add any new person that of course joins your team, but you can also use the Shego forms. Let me show you. We go to Shego forms right here. And this workflow does not have a form yet, but we are gonna create a new form. And our Shego forms are always based on our spreadsheet as well. So fields inside the Shego form will automatically be populated from column names in the spreadsheet. Let me name this independent contractors form. There we go. We select our spreadsheet in this case, our independent contractors 2021 file. The file only has one tab, so we can't miss right here, but otherwise specify here. And what's really cool is you can have a, a form preview. So you see how the form will look like. To fill out the form, you simply fill out the full name, email address, the starting date of the contractor, project name, office location, and contract sum. Note again, these are all the column headers inside the spreadsheet. If you want more questions in this form, simply add more columns to the spreadsheet. A good feature to note right here is that you can configure these column headers to show up in the form or not, or show up as a file upload or as a barcode scanner. I will add the link in the description to our form support page so you can find all the different features that we have to adjust this form. But let me now just finish the creation of our form. The responses, we want to bring them, of course, to the same destination, so to our spreadsheet. And we're gonna simply click finish and save to add the form to our workflow. There we go, it's been created. And for an example right now, I will fill out the form, contract form, contract at shego.com, for example. Let me specify a certain day. We're creating a contract generation in Valencia for a sum of 1000. We're submitting this form, that's done, and you can directly open the spreadsheet to view your response right here. And there we go, we see that it submitted the form and it added the row inside the spreadsheet. When you now go back to the workflow, you see, you see an extra icon in the workflow view, we have created a form to input our data into the spreadsheet. So you now have the option to send out this form to all your colleagues and whenever a new independent contractor joins the team, you add them, you submit them via the form. Whenever you then run the workflow, let me do this for you. Shigo reads the new generated spreadsheet row, creates this document and in PDF, and then shares the contract for this new person via Gmail automatically. There we go, the connection was updated and when I now go into files and I open my contract PDF folder, I will find a new contract. Here we have our contract form Valencia that I just created. But if you do not want to do this manually every time you need the contracts to be sent out, you can automate this workflow. So you can schedule the automation settings to run automatically. For example, if you send out the contracts every Monday, so it could be once a day between maybe eight, 7 and 8 a.m., you can choose your time zone right here. And here you can select or deselect on which days this workflow should run automatically. So now I will make sure that every Monday between 7 and 8 a.m. the spreadsheet will be read, will be checked for new contracts and will automatically send out the contracts of your workers automatically. So click save to automate this schedule. Another very important part of our workflow creation is of course sharing it with your team members. You can do that via this button right here. Click share and here you can add team members this button is by default enabled, but you can turn it off if you don't want to give your team member added access to the exact files in this workflow, but if not, you can just keep it on. So you just click share right here to share it with your team. 
each workflow inside Chico also has a section where you can add some notes. So here you can add notes for your team members to instruct them how to use it, what it's for and any other additional comments you may have. That's it. That's how you create an, a contract generator with Chico. As you can imagine, there are so many other possibilities with our tool. For example, we have an invoice generator that automatically generates invoices and sends them out. And also an inventory with barcode scanner that uses a barcode scanner directly inside the Chico form. I will put the link to those two systems in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more automation tips and how to use Chico. Thank you very much.